suffer from it. The following is a paid program. The opinions and views expressed do not reflect those of CNBC or its employees. The following paid program, The Next Wave, is brought to you by Next Wave Productions. The wireless internet. A new buzzword getting much attention these days. But what is it really? What are you really getting when you surf the web on your wireless phone? And have consumer expectations and industry reality even come close to meeting each other? Hello, I'm Leonard Nimoy. Now, there's no doubt that everyone from telecommunication carriers to content providers are all looking for that killer application. While the industry sorts through various standards and systems, most experts agree the main thing users care about is convenience and ease of use. So join us as we take a look at wireless application issues and the effect the mobile internet is having on the business landscape on this edition of The Next Wave. Welcome to the next wave. If you've ever tried to access information off the web with a wireless phone, you know that your choices, at least for now, are limited. The good news is that new technology and applications are on the horizon. And here to talk about that are my guests, Dave Chung, editor of Wireless Design and Development Magazine, Mike Iandolo, vice president of the Wireless Networks Group for Lucent Technologies, and Rudy, CEO of Cinea Corporation. Gentlemen, thank you for joining our program. Dave, what's the biggest difficulty accessing information off the internet from a mobile unit like a, like a wireless phone or a PDA? Well, I think one of the biggest limitations now is connection speed or lack of bandwidth. Uh, when we're talking about mobile services offering around 14 kilobits per second of a connection, it's much slower than what people are used to on their desktop. Mm -hmm. So inherently, there's a difficulty in getting a lot of information off either a website or, or a corporate database. Uh -huh. And Michael, Lucent is a company that's focused a lot on the new uh, mobile internet idea. How does this differ, differ from the internet that we know today? Is, is it a totally different internet we're talking about? It's really a, a, a slight change in terms of the experience that the user has. If you look today at a typical user experiencing the internet, it's through a, a PC, typically at their house or business. And uh, the new uh, uh, paradigm that changes with wireless is the fact that with wireless, you're now untethered. And uh, the types of devices that the users will be using will be different and that they'll be carrying them with them. And the fact is also with wireless, what you're going to be bringing in is, is uh, some of the inherent qualities of wireless in that uh, the wireless system knows where the person is. So you have the ability to do some location-based services that bring more relevant information to the user. So even though the Internet is the same, the way that the user will interact with the Internet is different. All right. Let's take a look at the following report to see a few examples of what the mobile internet will offer wireless users. In our fast-paced, increasingly mobile society, accessing information and the internet on the go is not just a convenience, but nowadays, a necessity. WAP, or Wireless Application Protocol, enables internet content to be delivered to wireless devices like cell phones or PDAs. Today's WAP environment uh, allows you to receive um, content from the internet um, but going beyond WAP allows you to receive more content from the Internet, uh, meaning a broader content, meaning from a, a video perspective or audio perspective. And Lucent Technologies New Jersey Laboratories have developed an Internet messaging management system that is the latest in wireless applications. Email notification and Internet content delivery system to wireless devices. It allows you to receive your email and respond to your email anywhere, anyplace, anytime. This is my profile of how I would like my email messages handled. I would, would like to find out who the sender is, the subject, the size, and attachment. If any emails come to me, the email will directly go to my wireless phone. When an email message is sent, it goes through a complex filtering and processing system that implements the user profile before delivering it to their phone and turning the email text into the spoken word. You have received an email. From Andre Smith, our leader, I will be visiting the next generation. And Lucent's mobile internet gateway that provides geolocation and information is further expanding the wireless horizon. Let's assume I'm traveling across Texas. 
and I need gas right away. I utilize my cellular phone and click on gas station. What it does is identifies gas stations within a one mile radius and a maximum number of five gas stations. And those are my options. I send that out into the internet and it responds providing me with gas stations that are specific to the geographic location that I am currently in. So in sense, this is a bridge of mobility and the internet. In Holmdale, New Jersey, this is Frank Uciardo reporting for the next wave. So, Michael, the report mentions receiving audio and video via wireless. What kind of equipment would do this, and is there enough bandwidth? First of all, uh, over the next year, we're going to be seeing an explosion of, of uh, devices that will be uh, providing access to the Internet for uh, mobile users. Uh, the traditional phone that uh, users have today is going to be replaced and augmented by other PDA-type devices that will offer uh, higher uh, resolution screens, to be able to view more content and other ways to interact with the uh, internet in terms of inputting data and so on. But the primary uh, enabler will be the fact that the network itself will be upgraded to provide much higher data speeds, to David's point, about uh, uh, up to 144 kilobits per second, which is a factor of 10 increase over what they could get today. So you'll get real video. You'll, get, you'll be able to do streaming video. Uh, we found that uh, the user experience for um, things like games and so on is much better once you get above 64 kilobit. So uh, there'll be an opportunity to have, uh, uh, besides streaming video, the introduction of gaming type applications and so on that'll be much closer to what the experience is at home. Um, Steve, Insinia is a company that's providing a service that, that allows business users to access their corporation just by using a typical wireless device like a cell phone or a, a PDA. What's so unusual? What's new here? What is new is the ability to use a mobile device to gain access to secure proprietary information from inside the corporation. You've been able to get email on your phone for some time, but that comes through an intermediary. It comes through your cellular carrier or somewhere else. Now you have the opportunity to access data, access information in much the same way you do from a desktop or a laptop, but in a mobile environment. Directly from your corporation. Directly from the corporation. And secure. And secure through the firewall, mirroring the security that the corporation has in place already. All right, let's, uh, let's turn to this report to see how the service actually works for one mobile businessman. Like more than a third of the U.S. workforce, Phil Smith, vice president at Rice Financial, spends most of his time on the road. That's why he needs to have access to his email, calendar, and other critical corporate data from any place at any time. Cinea Corporation has come up with a solution to help mobile professionals keep business moving while they're out of the office. Using Cinea, I can always access my internal corporate databases right before my meetings. And I have instant information from my clients. I can answer any questions they have. They're happy, we look smart, and everything works out great. Rice Financial Products relies on Cinea's service to access critical corporate information, such as email residing on the company's intranet, using an internet-enabled cellular phone. Internet access for us on the road is great, but it really doesn't allow us to tap into our corporate databases the way Cinea does. We are always connected now, and we don't have to stop. We can do it right on the go, from plane to cab to office and back again, and we never miss a beat. And companies who implement Cinea on their network won't miss a beat either. The service requires no additional hardware or software and can be up and running within hours. The burden of the software and hardware, it, it literally scared me at first. I thought, what are we going to have to do? I'm going to have to add this piece of equipment or I have to purchase that kind of software. And it actually surprised me. With today's competitive landscape, companies of all sizes need an edge. And by turning to Cinea, they're one step closer to saving time, reducing costs, and staying on top. From New York City, this is Sonny Quinn for the next wave. So, Stephen, if there's no software or hardware that I have to buy, how does it work? Well, there are two ways. It's a managed service where we reside between the corporation and the mobile user. We establish a secure connection between Cinea and the corporation. The data comes through into our service where it's transformed into a way that makes it usable on a mobile device. And then it goes from our 